631 right now. Tensions on college campuses across the country are rising this morning with more students demanding schools cut financial ties to Israel as a sign of support for Palestinian human rights. Over the weekend, President Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, discouraging an expected assault on Rafah. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington this morning. Bree, what do we know about the president's call with the prime minister? Good morning. Good morning, Diana. Well, during their phone call, President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu reviewed hostage and ceasefire discussions. The two leaders also talked about humanitarian aid in Gaza, as well as ongoing concerns about a potential Israeli offensive in the city of Rafah, a move that the U.S. opposes. Pro-Palestinian protests continue at college campuses across the country. Students calling for an end to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war and pushing for schools to stop funding companies tied to Israel. While many of these protests remain peaceful, there are concerns about safety and hate speech. People have a right to protest and make their views known. And almost, you know, overwhelming percentages of people do that peacefully. Uh, but there are those who intimidate or harass others. I think it's a dangerous situation. Uh, you, you said pro-Palestinian. There's also anti-Semitism, which is completely unacceptable. President Biden faces criticism from within his own party, people upset with his support for Israel. Right now, what Netanyahu's right-wing extremist and racist government is doing is unprecedented in the modern history of warfare. Secretary of State Antony Blinken returning to the Middle East today as part of the administration's push to broker a ceasefire deal. The most effective way to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza to alleviate the suffering of children, women and men, and to create space for a more just and durable solution uh, is to get uh, a ceasefire and a hostage assault. Families of those still held by Hamas urging action after Hamas released this video showing two hostages, including American Israeli Keith Siegel. The undated video marks the first time they've been seen during more than 200 days of captivity. And Sunday's conversation between President Biden and Netanyahu comes less than a month after the two leaders spoke following an Israeli airstrike that killed seven humanitarian workers. Diana. Bree Jackson in Washington, D.C. this morning. Bree, thank you. But